She told me she was preggo, I ain't even take the motherfucking dick out my pocket yet The opposite Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and today I've got another music video effect tutorial for you which is called the Scream Pump effect. So first of all the effect will look the best when it matches up with our beat. So I've already dragged and dropped my clips into the timeline and we're gonna take a look where we wanna create this effect. Okay, exactly at this point where the beat drops hard. So we're gonna extend the audio layer and here we can see at this point the beat will drop hard so that's the point where we're gonna create this screen pump effect so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our clip and go to effect controls and now we are exactly at this point and we're gonna move two frames backwards and then selecting the stopwatch icon of scale and position and it will automatically create two new keyframes for us. Then we're gonna go two frames forward to the point where the beat drops. And then we're gonna type in 120 at scale. And I would highly recommend not going above 120 because it will look a little bit weird. It would look more like a zoom than a really bump effect. Okay, so, and we also need to reposition it a little bit, but the character still stays in the middle. And then we can select this little button here to reset the parameter and it will automatically create the keyframes at the beginning. So let's take a look what we have created. By the way, you should definitely follow Angelina on Instagram because she's an absolutely crazy dancer. And yeah, you have to follow her, you have to. Okay, so <laughs> let's continue. So if you want to, you can create a double screen pump effect you're just gonna select the last two keyframes and you're gonna do copy and paste and just move the keyframes back. So in this situation it doesn't really make sense if we're gonna do a double screen up effect because there isn't a second drop on the beat and as I told you in the beginning it will look the best when it matches up with our beat. So I just wanted to let you know how it could possibly work. Yeah. That was a quick tutorial about how to create a screen bump effect. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Peace out.